Oh, sad man. Sad man, why do we do these things to the people we invent? You know better than anyone as a famous fiction writer. That's right, he writes the hard-hitting crime dramas about hard-hitting crime. Assault, I believe it's known as. <laughs> Hit them very hard. And that's illegal. And the judge says that in every case. He says, you hit them very hard, and that's illegal. This is Judge Thrupson, uh, the character in all of his books. He says, you hit them very hard, and that's illegal, if you weren't aware. And then he sentences them to death. <laughs> every turn, every book starts this way. Cobras, stop poking me with your little snoots! Boopy snoots, look! Little reverse boops with the snoots happening! Snoot boop, no! No, no boops! No snoots! Get your snoots away! The Ned Flanders Revival Concert is under siege. Okay? We don't know why or even really how. It's a very confusing state of affairs for all involved. But, Batman, you, mu you must save us! I know it's confusing. And, the and there's remarkably little information available. But if, if you do nothing, Ned Flanders will never be revived. <laughs> Alright. We brought in you two. Green Day... Those two people, right, right, they, they all fused, we know this. They, they put the Patara earrings on and they fused, the bands all fused together into a single person, each. And we brought them in to sing until Ned Flanders came back to life. And all that effort now is going to be for nothing. Because Batman didn't solve the, the problem. Yeah? <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Why won't Batman solve the problem? Does he think this is funny? Ned Flanders is in Hades! And try as we might, we can't reverse it without the help of you two and Green Day. And just when we'd finally fused them all. The, the concert is has got besieged, right? There's entire Vikings. Not the partial Vikings we had last year. They were easy enough to deal with. They, were, they weren't they were very balanced. They kept falling over. Continue. Alright, but... For the next now, you see, now they, they've, they, they've pulled themselves together. And are, and are attacking the concert, and we don't know what they've got against Ned Flanders. We don't. But only Batman can learn that. Alright, because they told us that much. Then we will only speak to Batman. Do you owe them money? Why are you avoiding them? They seem keen to meet you. Ooh hee hee hoo! I have hot bread for you. You will eat some of it and then you'll stop because you don't want any more. And then I'll go somewhere else and make the same offer of toast to all your friends. And then I'll endear myself to the community. Then we'll all be free. Oh yes, this is how I start my union. With a human face and a disgraceful attitude, I come to New York to sing on your children. Not to them, not even at them, on them. I'm stood on them. Don't worry, I'm only about the size of a cricket. That's the that's the deal. That's the deal I made with Beelzebub. The Lord of the Flies is also the Lord of Tiny Singing Men. The patron demon of all. 
If an infinite number of geese turned around, right, would you be shocked? <laughs> I'd be more sort of shocked at just the, the sight of an infinite number of geese. I don't think I could process it. People eat sausage when they're unwanted. Streets will look beefly when they're gone. Beefly. Let's... Let's discuss this adjective. Do you think you could... Do you think you could find me in the hedge maze? Hmm? There's a contest once a year that... Uh, he, he's not interested. He's driving off. Fair enough. It's, it's not for everyone. When we breach the wall of fun, you're never going to be done. Alright, you're going to want to go again and again. Because it's such a fun siege! It's, it's so fun to besiege, they really sort of shot themselves in the foot with that aspect of the design. They've known nothing but war. For it appears to have put you in the Great Gatsby Hotel of Pleasurable Fish Stick Sensations. How can a fish stick feel good? We explore the myriad answers to that question in this hotel, where the sun never reaches. Completely devoid of light. Of hope. That one took a turn. Dick Penis, pleasure's all yours. Burn. Burn all the fish forever. Get out the back. Get, get out the back of the van. Get out the back of the van. You don't need to be in the back of the van for this bit. Right now, if you're in the back of the van, you're not really doing much of use to me. I'm going to burn all these fish without you at this rate. There'll be no fish left for you. I'm cooking the fish as I attack them. It's beautiful. The elegance, the simplicity, the efficiency of my fish burning operation. If you would just get out of the back of the van and watch me do it, for fuck's sake, mate, it's not that difficult. Just get out of the back of the van. Has someone chained you in the back of the van? Well, that changes the circumstances. Now it's not your fault. Somebody has willfully restrained you in the back of the van. Honestly, I feel like an arsehole for having made it out to be your fault this whole time. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I will, I will do my best to, to, you know, heal this, this damage that has come in our relationship as, as a result of really my ignorance. Uh, here, let me help you out the back of the van. As you know, my left arm is a set of uh, bolt cutters. That's another part of this bit. That is me establishing things about my character. Who healed a fish in my fucking presence? Well, it's all happening out here, behind the back of the van, where you have now joined me. Because I have freed you from your shackles. And now we can burn fish out the back of the van together. Thank you for listening to my speech. Uh, this, this is why this is my one-man play uh, out the back of the van. Um, it, it's re re really about being there uh, for your fellow human beings, showing up for the community, helping them to get out the back of the van, and understanding there are reasons they might still be in the back of the van. And you know, if you had just thought to ask. If you had just thought to ask before throwing your barbs, you may have known and could have gotten them out of the back of the van really at any time with your left arm, which is a set of bolt cutters, as we've established. I wrote this drawing on my personal experience of having a set of bolt cutters for a left arm. And burning fish out of the back of the van, but I like to think there was more to it than that. I like to think that the, the what really happened was, will you fucking stop running at me? Make him laugh, make him laugh. Don't you know when you make toast it's great? I always run in circles and I fire all my bread. And then you find out that I have a gun to my head. I am being threatened, please help me now. <laughs> you got, you got to explain prawn launderers to me, because I don't know why you would need, like, how do you acquire them illicitly? And like, how do you explain how you ended up with them afterwards? Like, if you... If you didn't steal the prawns, and you didn't buy the prawns, how did you end... Because here's the thing, you don't really earn prawns. Do you... Have a... Fishing license. 
for, for prawnery and then go out to sea, right? And then you just come back with... You don't actually catch anything, but you come back with the prawns in your boat. And then people are like, oh, well, that's... that's he's done a, a good job. Has Thederic Bunt. Master of all the prawns in the sea. But you're not the master of all the prawns in the sea, actually, are oh, you, Thederic Bunt? You've actually just given the false impression that you didn't. Nick him. Nobody gets, like, suspicious that the prawns, like, ev every, like, decent-sized haul that you've ever had has coincided with a prawn robbery. Nobody's asking these questions. I'd have just eaten the prawns. If I'm to be honest, rather than all this elaborate, like, trying to have the prawns legitimized, all your elaborate prawn laundering, right? I'd have eaten the prawns, thereby eliminating any evidence. Well, of prawn ownership on your part, anyway. There's, there's, you know, whether or not there's any, like, DNA at the scene or, like, fingerprints, that's on you to sort out. Alright, I can't do everything for you. I can't, I can't eat all the evidence. Right, most of it's not prawns. There was so much legwork you could have avoided. You could have skipped leg day. The one time it would have been acceptable. But you didn't. Now you have too many legs. You're a centipede now for your sins. In your arrogance. Snoof, 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 snoof. Snoof, snoof, indeed. The most arrogant centipede. Um. <laughs> Did you need the prawns for something else? Like, are you... Are you trying to serve them at a restaurant or something, but you need to explain how you got them all? Because if you need prawns in bulk, that sort of might explain why, like, why you need to steal them consistently. If you can't afford prawn prices, if the, the prawns have priced you out of the market, but you're a prawn restaurant specifically. It was your dream, right? And you, sh you don't feel you should have to give up on it just because some, like, fucker's priced you out. The system's not gonna get you down, you'll steal prawns and cook them for people. But you need to find a way. But like, how do you get the... You, you, would, you would leave in your fishing boat. Like, presumably you'd have to take the prawns with you. Is there a hidden prawn compartment? And then you come back with the prawns out. I really need... I just so much need to understand the logistics of this operation you've concocted. Because it's really weighing on my mind now. You're all doing little flips past me. I can't believe what you've done. I think they specifically put in something that they felt wouldn't come to pass. They were like, oh no, we'll never get a gold medal. We rigged it. We put something in the game that just makes you fucking fly backwards for reasons you can't process. Your feet will grow wings and fly off in the opposite direction the moment you hit this corner. We've programmed it to happen. We've willed it to be. You'll never have feet again. You can't compete anymore without them. The monarchy is safe. But oh no, you fools, I overcame. I've got my feet back, my sports bra on, and I'm coming for your fucking throat. Right, back to the prawns, though. Is there any need to be seen coming back with the prawns? Could you hypothetically just leave? You, do, how does fishering work? Do you have to declare your prawns on the way back? Is there a prawn inspector who's like, Let me see. Let me see all the prawns that you've brought back. And then, like, if there's no prawns, he'd be like, No prawns. Zero points. And then if you suddenly had prawns, would you have to pay them off? Oh, fuck, you've paid off the prawn inspector to falsify prawn reports. As long as, long as the boat's going out regularly. 
course then you'd have to give them a cut. I've done martial arts. <laughs> if you were wondering what just the least threatening sentence on the planet was, it's probably that. You'd better beware for me. <laughs> Don martial arts. I thought you would back into the ravine, get your leggies stuck, and you'd be like, "Oh no, I'm stuck in a little, little trebuchet." What? No, it's not even remotely what that is. Tributary, I think, is the word that I'm sort of half remembering that is associated with water. You don't catapult water, but well, maybe you do. Maybe maybe nerfs come up with something. Not nerf, the other one, the wet one. <laughs> wet nerf, you know. Bloody super soaker, whoever they are, wherever they, whatever they've become. <laughs> oh god, how badly I've been affected that I'm now misremembering the legacy of Nerf. Oh. <laughs> You've got a goofed up real face. One of those words was in the wrong place there, and well, and therefore every subsequent word was technically in the wrong place, but it was mostly the one word's fault. It reflects badly on the team, but it's clear where the weak link was. You can't just shift the blame onto the entire group when it's your shortcoming that's caused this. There's no I in team, but there is an I in fuck you. <laughs> I've increased my victory coins and everything. You don't you don't think I wanna fight? I'm gonna punch prize money right out your pockets. I'm gonna pay five bus drivers to weep in front of me. What? That actually sounds really uncomfortable. I don't think I'm going to do that. I should have realized the way the winds were turning, the blow was getting burning, the daft man, daft man, daft. Do you like my old folk song that I know? It's called The Daft Man. And it's about you! That's right. That's right, punkstus. I know you're watching this. I know you're the only one as well. Right now, anyway. If it's later, then disregard this message. You'll, you'll be able to see that it's later because punkstus will be running around the place going, Ah, he got me! For it is in glory that I find my pajamas. Right where I left them. In glory room, pajama land, where we keep your pajamas safe. We think it's great, we think it's grand. I hope you won't displease the wraith. Look, the safety of your pajamas is contingent upon the participation of the wraith. It's so difficult to explain. I said, yeah, what a concept. I'm gonna make a poo instead. And we could all use a little shit. Wait, 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 wait. What? In the context of the lyrics of the song... <laughs> yeah. A guy has come up to the smashed mouth asking him for money for fuel. Yeah. And in response... <laughs> Yeah. He has said, instead of that, <laughs> I, I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna do a shit. Oh, I'll smash give me. you petrol. Oh, I'm smash mouth and I'll sing like this. Oi, oi, seven, oi, I'm smash mouth. Are you ready to take a shit with me? <laughs> Taking a shit with smash mouth. The new. Early it's learning DVD. <laughs> what, kids? 
I'm Smash Mouth. You might know me from the Shrek. I'm gonna teach you how to shit. No. No, you prick. Turtle power. Don't be faster than me. I've got turtles everywhere in the city. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. I've got turtles everywhere in the CD. I don't know the dip selection in full. <laughs> so I was just imagining Ghost Rider himself saying all of this. With his bloody burning, like, goddamn edgelord skeleton face. With the fury of innocent souls. On his burning motorcycle, lamenting his lack of knowledge about the dip community. I've a potluck tomorrow! Just a few simple console taps and teleports come! There's a sparkly object on a crate. You're being deceitful. It just said, climb the ladder and claim your envelope prize. It said it like- it said it like it just naturally followed that you would do that. Batman! Being able to control the camera actually would be... huge right now. Really? I mean, I can't... Am I supposed to jump right? Okay, I've thrown that now. Fuck! Give me your nipples! Am I even... Am I even doing this... nip knobs and Nimble! You've got a crime! Sandra, I want you! I mean, I have already missed one, is the thing. And I'm now annoyed about... Fucking... I don't know the full plot of that. Like, I know who Faust is and, you know, Mephistopheles. And, like, their whole arrangement. I don't know the plot of that story in full. If indeed there is more to it, and it's not just two hours of him singing, I'm going to take your soul in a bargain. He just sings that right at the beginning, and then the next two hours is just instrumental. As he tries to yank the soul out, he's just, he's just stood there as the, the music's just like... And he's just there trying to pull his soul out, like, get, get, give me the... get out of his bloody... come on. Come on, you owe me this! Get out of him! Now! It's in the contract! You're being rude. Parker! What if I accidentally hired a scorpion? Hello? It's naughty, naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Nice, nice, nice. The endless refrain of the Christmas scrum. They can't agree. They, they can't agree in some case. On, you know, in situations where... You know, a, a child is basically, you know broken even in terms of karma. Uh, they, a tiebreaker is needed. And so they, they commence the Christmas scrum and the elves all gather up and they go, naughty, 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 and then the other side goes, nice, 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 and then they scrum for rugby. Uh, you might be able to see they've craftily hidden a, a secret, a s sneaky secret, a Siegfried secret. Hello everyone, it's me, Siegfried Secrets. I'm here to tell you all of the secrets that you don't know. You know, just in case you want them. It is, it is my charge, it's my duty. No one else has the moxie. The moxie of Siegfried's secret sequence? Secret sequence. The code! I don't know what I'm doing anymore, friends. I do, it's just, you know, I've, I've got to speak. Oh, you think you're hot shit, don't you? Don't you mean... cold... piss? 
Piss is not the opposite of shit, Batman. Credits roll. Rather than close them, he extends them. It catches the prey off guard. For it defies all sense and the known laws of geometry. Anyway, that's enough looking at a crab. Another crab! This one's in the sun. Right. This crab's out in the sunshine. This, this, is, this is a lovely sunshine crab. Right? But that's, he's in the shade. He's the crab of darkness. I've turned them to face each other. They've spotted, he's spotted his mortal enemy. But, you know, such is the, the folly of the existence of crabs. They can't approach each other. Because they're not they're, they're facing each other, they're not sideways. They're, de they're doomed to scuttle side to side forever. Ne never able to make the final charge. And that's how the forces of light and darkness are kept in balance. You know, we left it to a couple of crabs. You know, who are incapable of overthrowing each other. Oh, bird! Oh, mighty man. No mighty man. No mighty man for you. There's other men who are more mighty. Why you you should it's not fair that you'd be known as the only mighty man, the one and only. Mighty man, the one and only. Mighty man, the one and only mighty man. That's his theme song. You just go like that over and over. The one and only mighty man, the one and only mighty man, the one and only mighty man, the one and only mighty man. And I don't think that's fair, because he's not that mighty. It seems arrogant, and I think it's time somebody took the one and only mighty man down a fucking peg or two. Join! <laughs> oh. oh, I've devolved into laughing at funny voices. I'm like, I'm imagining that's like how you learn about. <laughs> he walks in, does that, and then all the droids are like, yes, what? Ah, oh, dang it, he got us again. How things would have been different if Danny Donuts had just picked the rock up. He could have won. He could have won the final challenge. But his hand faltered when it came to the trial of meat. Ah! The. yeah. He had to fight the strongest of butchers, Herman. And he didn't really. He just sort of didn't bother. He was like, ah, well, sometimes the only real way to fight a butcher is to not fight at all. And then Herman just absolutely eviscerated the fucker. And we were all staring at him like, pick up the fucking stone and hit him with it. Hit Herman with a brick. Have you not heard the old folk song, Hit the Butcher with a Brick? Ah. But he hadn't. And then he, he failed miserably as a result. I will just say that you're dead. Who's gonna challenge me on it, hmm? Who's good the- I've got the- I've got the press in my pocket. Every journalist, the, the, it may be a handful of mixed nuts. All right. I've declaimed a journalist based on the same principle that no one will challenge me on it because I have a handful of nuts in my pocket. I've just got to hope that a squirrel doesn't run off with them again. It's a bizarre image in my head now, that whole event transpiring. The squirrel. Just looking me dead in the eye as he takes the nuts away and just... <laughs> The truth will out. Bad form corn puffs, get the worst snack. <laughs> They're the worst snack and they know it. So honesty in advertising. It's like it's like the one time they tell the truth, man. When the bad snacks are coming down. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But th this is this is a new sort of like he's a bit shaggy esque. That's his that's his full name, Abbot Shaggy esque. 
And he, he talks like that about crisp advertising. He took all my coins away, out of my pockets. Out of my pockets and into the sink! Why are you washing all of the money? You've never explained this. Not in any of the subsequent titles. Why must you wash the coins? Does Hephaestus demand it? Is he notorious for having clean dollars? Hephaestus of the clean dollars, he says. Blacksmiths, blacksmiths! I guess, uh... I was wrong. Oh, piranhas in pyjamas, they walk and walk and walk. We don't know why they have feet. The feet, presumably, were included in the pyjamas. It's an odd design, an interesting innovation to help piranhas run. Which I know was my concern about old pyjamas in the future! Oh. How my old pyjamas got in the future, I shall never know. I'm going to close all your bones tonight. In the ring! Oh, look at me! I'm good with spheres! Jake Gyllenhaal today! Vast as a titan! Is it too late for us to be friends? That's his entrance song whenever Jake Gyllenhaal gets in the ring. This is my lot in life, unfortunately, to be predictable fish jokes for your PlayStation video game. The fish is now travelling backwards. <laughs> you made the you made the fish go backwards this time. It is... What the fuck did you just say about my fish? Oh no, I think oh I don't know what the fish is doing anymore. He just he can't seem to make up his mind. Just in a state of existential despair at the tedious predictability of his unfortunate situation, just wiggling about all over the place. Relatable as fuck, if I'm being honest. Except, of course, that I have limbs. That's the primary difference between me and the fish you've trapped in your brain! <laughs> I feel like that's really the best power move you can make in in that situation, is to just make that noise at him while you look up at him going, Oh yeah, school for <laughs> If you can stake Grillium at your captor, I don't I think that makes up for the size difference, because they don't feel big in that moment. Cause there's too much. I'm not a I'm not a, a customer of the the distinct Chicken shop, all right. I don't need to know for certain that this chicken is different from the other ones. I don't get why people pay extra for that. They're just, just fucking ego. They need to know nobody else has got this chicken. Of course they fucking haven't. You, you, you're looking at it right now. It's your chicken, Craven. It's your chicken, the commander of gold. Gold Wings, five. No. Star Chicartle United. Twenty points. Maximum Rooney. Twelve. Portugal Finance. Seventeen love. Okay. I've I've made up enough sports scores that everyone's died. The fuzzy potato fight counselor has called upon you to suck the seaweed out of the carpet. Will you answer the charge? He's just he's just going to fuck me in place. Right. He's gonna he's gonna fuck a nail through my foot and pin me to the floor. I thought he said take these potatoes. He's offering potatoes to anyone in need. It's the Spider-Man giving you vegetables at startling speed. Whooshing round the country like a Santa Claus of starch. But when he stops, there'll be some bops about the Ides of March. 
Uh, you should be. Be a... Coyote. I'm assigning you a fasona right now. You owe me, I saved your life. Spider-Man's making you a furry. Spider-Man's making you a furry. J Jenna Jameson's like, I warned you! <laughs> I warned you this would happen! And then people are like, yeah, we know. We all secretly want to be furries, is the thing. That's the thing you've never understood about it's human a, nature. Don't worry. Jade Jonah Jameson. You'd be a stoat, we reckon. Please stop being recognised by the Guild of Raspberry Fritters as a threat to the peace, Pinecone. If you don't break it, nobody cares. If as long as the Pinecone remains intact, you won't be taxed again. You're pissing in the gauntlet. Someone's got to put their hand in that. Or throw it down. Maybe that's why people keep throwing down gauntlets, is because they're like, Oh, this is filled with piss! And then they go back to whatever it is they were doing before, and people keep mistaking it for a challenge. They're like, are you saying I would want this piss gauntlet? And they say, no, I don't say that you would want this piss gauntlet. And it's like, oh, so now you're calling me a liar! And then they end up having a piss gauntlet battle right there and there, and they just slap themselves off of a horse. They take it in turns. Now you get on the horse, it's my turn. We're not sure how they determine scoring or things like that, and I don't think that was really a concern going in for either of them. They're just like, look, we've got to resolve this somehow, let's just fall off a horse until we come to an answer ourselves. Go away into the mistress of Fog's house. There's also a dog's house nearby. But do not be confused! It's not the mistresses of Fog's dogs. <laughs> Alright. Now remember, you're not allowed to be confused. Of course, you know what that means. I'm you. You're not. You've, you've got... No. Ask your finance instructor today about pound coins. Alright, they're round, they're metal, and they're made of currency. <laughs> they're made of currency, did you not know? But they're also metal as well, don't worry. Why did you build it in um. the first place? Well, uh, you know. <laughs> Forget it, just get out of it. <laughs> New mission data. We. <laughs> you still here, buddy? You alright? Was there anything else? Anything else you wanted to bring up? You waiting for me to say thank you? 